Let us now take technology, fate, chance, all things mechanical and inhuman that rule us, although we ourselves both created them and gave them the power they have over us. Let us contemplate them as one and then dream. What we behold is a new monster. In the ancient tradition, Gorgons, beasts, furies, and dragons. Our modern contribution to the progeny of mythical monsters is the robot, or man-made automaton, which puts humanity on trial and even questions our definition of ourselves, as monsters always have done. In ancient Greek, the word automaton meant not only a thing moving by itself, but also causeless chance. The horror of such a thing is that it looks human, but it isn't. It is both more invulnerable than we are, made of metal, say, and without human responses such as pity, and less complex. It moves remorselessly because automatically to its goal. It has no soul. What could this remarkable change in our dreaming mean? Our fictional robots, automata, born of technology and inevitability, resemble animals in that they are stronger perhaps, but otherwise only slightly, if at all, unlike us. And where do we fit in? Here our monsters begin striking to the quick as monsters are created and trained to do. It's easy to conclude that very often computers know best. Cognitive scientists today like using computers as analogies for human beings. Everything that is ordered is on a long flight towards disintegration. Computers know best. Human beings occupy a surprising little pocket, short-lived doom, of resistance to the general entropy, turning back, in Greek, of everything into chaos. Both express the state of human opinion about ourselves.